Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Oster Kitchen Center. Uh, I own a whole bunch of uh, uh, really neat kitchen gadgets and I've, uh, you know, I've taken gambles, I've bought some over the years that were disappointing, but this one's my favorite. Uh, and I like it because uh, it can do a whole lot. So as you can see, I, I, I brought out all the attachments and uh, there's a whole bunch of different options here. And except for one attachment, that yellow one on the right, which is the meat grinder and pasta maker, I use all the other ones regularly. Uh, and, uh, and it works great. So let me show you what it can do. There's two latches that remove the mixer attachment, and then most of the attachments just plug in directly into the motor base. Uh, here is the food processor, a small but very capable food processor. It works great. It also features a full-size uh, Oster blender with a glass jar, and uh, this also does a great job. Works just like the classic Oster blenders. Uh, there's also a uh, food grater and a food slicer. And there's a bunch of different blades with this, and uh, this is great for vegetables and cheese, whatever you're gonna, whatever you want to slice up. And the nice thing is that it spits everything out into the bowl next to it. And uh, here's some of the different blades. Uh, so you can use this uh, to do a whole bunch of different stuff. It really, it works great, it's fast. Uh, and there's a plunger uh, that you use to push the items down that you're gonna slice. Uh, and then along with the mixer, it also features dough hooks. So you can use this for making bread. And the dough hooks uh, actually rotate the bowl on their own. This is a feature I really like because uh, it does a lot of the work automatically. And they remove very easily too. There's a little unlock on the top. And then to, the, to attach the meat grinder and uh, pasta maker, there's a little set screw on the back and that locks it in. Uh, and then I put the bowl next to it and there's a little plunger to, uh, to push whatever you're making down into it. And that works well too. And then there's a Lazy Susan on the front and there's three positions. And you can move that around uh, and you can use a smaller bowl too, depending on what you're making. And it's great. So you have a lot of options with it. And the nice thing with this too is that it rotates the bowl on its own. Today I'm going to use this to make mashed potatoes and we're ready to get started. The potatoes still need a few minutes yet before they're tender, but they're almost ready to go.
So when I make mashed potatoes, as you can see, uh, really simple recipe, but I always just add the ingredients uh, only a little bit at a time and then just to get it right. Because if you add too much milk at the beginning, you ruin them right away. If you add too much salt, then you make them too salty, they're ruined. So uh, as they're being mashed and mixed, uh, I will gradually add uh, ingredients and kind of taste test and it comes out great. They're good, they're just how I like them. The potatoes came out great. They weren't lumpy at all, and uh, I did add a little extra butter and some homemade gravy to them, and they were very good. Uh, the Oster Kitchen Center is a great vintage kitchen appliance. You know, this machine's about 35 years old, and it's really a shame they don't still make this today because this thing's awesome. Uh, it can do a whole lot, and uh, it's easy to clean up, and it's a great time saver in the kitchen. It's also great for multitasking, because when you're using it, it can do a lot of the stuff on its own while you're trying to get other things ready in the kitchen. So I really like it. Uh, I've been really happy with mine. I've owned this now for about nine years, and uh, I think it's great. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, and as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.